When I show you this email, what's the first thing you notice? This is the email. The first thing I notice is that there's no copy here. With the exception of this bit, which is on all the newsletters, everything in this frame is images. We have two logos. Then we have kind of like, like a stock image or just like some general il illustration that's not necessarily related to anything specific. And to get to anything meaningful, I have to scroll this email. So if we know that your email copy is responsible for getting people intrigued enough to take the action you want them to take, you know, why are we pushing it so far down the screen that they can't even see it when they open the email? I actually came across two different case studies recently on the web that were related to like imagery tests in email. So I'll show you really quickly what they are. So you can draw some inspiration for maybe how to either fix this or at least test some alternative approaches in your emails. All right. The first one was a similar test where they tested a GIF here in the the original and they tested not using the gif so it was you can see very high on the page although you can see if we were to imagine that this is probably the frame there was a headline here right so there was some copy to at least get them excited enough to scroll the interesting thing is when they tested it without the image clicks went up Another test I saw was done with newsletters. So they tested a month's worth of newsletters. They did what about three issues per week. So about 12 issues of the newsletter. And the only thing they tested was image and no image. And so what they found was that 10 out of 12 of the tests actually performed better with the no image email. So the test came back anywhere from 0.5 to 1.2% lift in email click-throughs. And then when they rolled that out, they actually saw an overall lift in 4 to 6% in click-through rates across their newsletter. So I think that's some pretty compelling data to suggest that your images could be costing you clicks. So for that email, I think it'd be an interesting test to see what happens if we either move the image further down the page or remove it altogether. So this is your reminder to always be aware of your subscribers' experience as they interact with your emails.